why does Nintendo keep doing these at 9 a.m.? <laughs> and I know most people get up before 9 a.m. I'm not most people. <laughs> Accommodate to me and only me, Nintendo. Uh, I'm not even sure if this video is gonna end up going live. The, the last couple they've done have been kind of... <laughs> so I don't know if this is gonna be very exciting. We're gonna give it a watch. And if the video goes up, it means that, uh... I thought it was interesting. So if you're watching this, spoiler alert, it didn't suck. <laughs> it actually started two minutes ago. I'm running a little late. But at the end of this video, I really, I, I really quickly want to not apologize, but talk about yesterday's video and explain and, and flesh something out a little better that I feel like I might, I may have done a bad job of explaining yesterday. A lot of people seem to get confused and, and uh, had a misconception that I was saying that PlayStation is the better console. I was just, I was pure, I, okay. I'm not gonna talk about it now, otherwise there's no point talking about it at the end of the video. Yeah, it's already live, so I've got I've got to backtrack a little bit. It look it look it, it, it looks like there's some sort of shenanigans with a with a Nintendogs type. I don't know, man. I don't. How long is this supposed to be? Three minutes? Five minutes? I'm too tired. Why does this look very Xenoblade-y? No, it looks very Monster Honey. No, I don't know. Shut up, Wood. Oh, it is Monster Honey. Capcom presents, is it what, a new Monster Hunter? A linear Monster Hunter? Or a regular Monster Hunter? Can, how many times can I say the words Monster Hunter? Okay, it's definitely a sequel. Magnum Malo. Magnum Malo. It's kind of fun to say, actually. I mean, I'm not a huge, you guys know, I'm not a huge Monster Hunter fan, but that's a strong start to our partner mini. March 26. All right. Oh, that's what the little pets- Okay, we really weren't that far behind then. Is this Genshin Impact? Because it looks like Genshin Impact. No, because it's Capcom. Now what am I looking at? It looks- It looks good! I like the art style! This might- This video might get uploaded. <laughs> this is destiny. Egg. A r egg. Monster- Oh, wait. Oh, is this- is this another one of those Monster Hunter stories games? Because that last one was actually pretty good. It was like a mix of Monster Hunter and Pokemon. It was had a really nice art style like this. I would definitely be down for another stories. It's definitely that. Yeah, I wonder if the amiibo still work because I have one. The, I, I'm way more excited for this version of Monster Hunter than the traditional version. I don't know, I liked this game a lot on 3DS. Take my egg and make an omelette. Stories, right? Stories 2. Yeah, stories 2. I called it. I guessed it. I guessed it. Wings of Ruin. It's weird that they didn't call this a Monster Hunter Direct. It's still weird. I don't need to hear about exercising right now. I've been awake for like 10 minutes. Select any one of the nine instructors, including three new ones, Janice, Hero, and Karen. Karen? Does she scream at you if you don't do exactly what she says? Does she get mad if you don't wear your mask when you go to buy the game? <laughs> no, if you do wear the mask when you go to buy the game. So I, I still don't really know anything about this franchise at all. It looks really cute. Comment section. Can I start on this one? Or do I have to play all the others first? Coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Exclusively? Oh, that's pretty neat. Plus, the previous title, Disgaea 5 Complete, will be free to play for a limited time in a special game trial event exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Oh, that's interesting. The whole game is free to play for limited time if you have their subscription online thing. That's it. That's an. That's okay, Nintendo. I can get on board with that. I know that I, the event's still going, but I'm hung up on this because now I'm thinking about all the other games Nintendo could make free for a limited time. They could give us one free game. Nintendo, if you're going down this route, you could give us one cool free game a month to play for a limited time. Nintendo, are you leaning towards that? Because I love that. And if you're looking for salvation, come and if you're looking for salvation, what am I watching? The impossible dream. <laughs> Sniper Elite 4. There are some cool uh, games in this. I just, I, it's not, they're not my kind of, they're not my kind of games, but they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good. Quiet in the long dark. I started that recently. The game itself is actually pretty cool, and uh, I'm glad I didn't play too much of it, because I'll definitely play it on Switch. True survival on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, oh! Or run full seasons in tournaments with online okay. societies. A physical version you know, of this game. I was gonna laugh, 
But online with friends sound fun, actually. <laughs> yeah, when is that game coming out? I'm excited for that one. Hades comes to Nintendo Switch later today. Okay. This is shaping up to be a pretty good day. <laughs> I think I remember seeing this one. This game looks good. Kinda. No, it looks good. Kinda. No, it looks good. Kinda. Oh, this is made by the Knights people. That's why I've seen it. You can also pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend in a co-op mode. That won't tank the frame rates at all, I bet. <laughs> okay. That game looks cute. This has definitely been a good, uh, good direct for RPG fans. Oh, oh, I, oh, that actually looks really good. Oh, you got, oh, oh, it's that. Oh, it's that. Wow, this game, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. I love fishing. Now, comment section, y'all are a bunch of greasy nerds. <laughs> Do I have to play the other Rune Factories? Or can I, can I jump in on that one? This is, this has been good. This, this might be, this could get uploaded, I think. End, end with a bang, Nintendo. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. That is good. Eh, that is good. The new Ori already. It's such a good game. You can attack now. They give you a little sword. Uh, cool, cool direct, honestly. Every, every announcement, even the golf. I'm not kidding. Even the golf, because golf with friends might be fun. Oh, and it comes in a big box. Oh, Nintendo. Did Xbox even get that? <laughs> Pre-ordering that, yeah. Wow, that left me with a smile. I'm, I'm, it's cool. I mean, you saw it. Honestly, that was, that was pretty great. It was almost like 15, I think it was 15 minutes actually. What time is it? It was 20 minutes. That's not even a mini. That's a, that's a full. Would you believe it? I'm actually glad I woke up early. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. All right, now I said I'd really quickly touch on this. So I'm really gonna, I'm gonna quickly touch on this. Yesterday, I said that PlayStation 5 had won the console war. And of course, 95% of people, they, they didn't care. All right, they watched a fun video, they listened to what I said, and they understood where I was coming from and what I had. But another 5% of people took to Twitter and DM'd me saying I was toxic for re-sparking the console war debate and bleh. It wasn't what I was trying to do, okay? Like it or not, these two consoles are competing, okay? Okay, call that whatever you want, but they are competing for sales and there will be a victor, all right? That doesn't mean you can't love one. That doesn't mean they both won't do incredibly well or they both can't do incredibly bad, but one is going to outperform the other one. And when I said PlayStation has won the console war, all I meant was this lead up up to launch and the initial launch sales, PlayStation knocked it out of the park, okay? There's, as far as marketing goes, there's ways to market your console and really sell it and have an exciting launch. And PlayStation have done it and Xbox fumbled theirs. That said, I'm still very excited for both consoles and I see merit in both consoles. And I wanna make a video about both consoles and even the Switch and how I feel about all of them going into the holiday season and which one you should buy and the merits behind all of them. And the answer, might not be as clear cut as you think. It's just when it comes to the lead up and who did a better job at pushing their console and having games ready and making an exciting launch, PlayStation 1. And I'm sure Xbox is gonna do very well. In fact, I have, my theory is that Xbox is not gonna do very well at launch. It might be considered a flop. But moving into the generation, I think they're going to pick up a lot of steam with things like xCloud when Halo and their, their other games and their 15 studios start releasing games. I've been talking about all of this for months and sometimes I forget that people only watch one video and make an assumption, especially with Game Pass as well. There's just, they have a lot going on on Xbox, a lot of value, a lot of bang for buck and even like a really cheap buy-in with the $300 system too. They, they just, they, they, they are smart in a lot of ways and they fumbled the ball in a lot of other ways. I'm not apologizing, but who cares? Because today's Nintendo's day. Nintendo just put on a really cool mini direct, even next to, you know, the PlayStation event we had last night, which is really cool. I was still able to get hyped up for this event, which says something about this event. It was pretty good. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh, I'll see you guys soon in another video. I love you all. Stay safe.